Hey folks, today I have a uh, special Israeli comic book haul because uh, yesterday I went to uh, Animix, which is a festival we have here in Israel for um, comics, animation, and all that. It was uh, my first time ever going. I, I didn't even know it, uh, it existed until uh, about like, a month, two months ago. Actually, the creator of Quentin Alpha told me about it, and uh, I made plans to go, and uh, <laughs> luckily I, I got to in the end. It was, uh, it was really interesting. I mean, you know, first time, I wasn't there a, a long time. Just walked around with Dad. They have, uh, that's some cool stuff. Uh, creators brought their um, comics, art, also, some uh, comic creators brought um, the comics that they had in their collections to sell. I saw a really cool uh, edition of the the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's a really weird and uh, cool comics. I have pictures on the, on my Instagram, and I wish I took more pictures. But again, I really, you know, wanted to, uh, see everything as well, not just sit and take pictures. Uh, there's even, uh, one, uh, quite well-known creator of Zbang. It's, a, it's a comic that's been going on for a long time in the newspaper, though. Well, anyway, it was, it was really interesting. Uh, they also had, um, comics and vegetables were also there. They had a stand where they sold comics. Again, uh, re really interesting stuff. It's a shame uh, my uh, my ability to remember names is so shit. Oh well, I'll, I'll try to go again next year. This time, uh, perhaps plan it better. All right, I've been blabbering long enough. Let me show you what I got. I didn't buy a lot, but I uh, bought a few Israeli comics. So first, I got this one. It's called Blender. It's, um, uh, he said it's an anthology. Although I might have not understood him correctly. I was a bit excited and not, uh, not really paying attention very well. Anyway, it's by a bunch of, uh, creators. Although I did ask him to sign them. Good thing I did, because at least now I know his name. I didn't ask for his name, but even if he, again from the excitement, but even if he would have told me, I, there's no way I would have remembered. If he got like the signature though. <laughs> That's cute. So yes, apparently they, they've been making this for uh, a few. No, I said it was in the early 2000s, I think. Well, anyway, it's got a bunch of uh, stories in it. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, this is issue... Um, oh. This is issue 10. I think you can see the color well. I think this is issue 10. Oh, and here we have a fairy. I got two of them. And this is issue 11. This is Blender Comics. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 never, I don't really know how well what they are about, but I kind of like this cover. For some reason, it reminded me of the Addams Family. Well, that's a good contrast with the black and yellow. Oh, of course, he signed this one too. <laughs> Check out that face. Oh, that's actually a really good one. So yeah, we have all these uh, creators. Um, who did what? Oh, oh, they have a, si a website. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, I get all, all sorts of stories. I'm gonna read the uh, read these. It's some um, <laughs> soon. Ooh, check that out. 
Yes, there seems to be uh, interesting stuff. I do wonder if you could uh, buy more from them somewhere. I mean, I, I guess they sell them, you know, not just once a year in the festival. But yeah, it's got some interesting stuff. Uh, and as I said uh, before, and here it's a uh, niche of a niche with comics, so you really need to know all the information and who to ask to to know about the stuff. All right, next and the last thing I got is it's called "The Streets of Rage" by uh, Edgar Karat and Asaf. I don't know. <laughs> It's got an interesting last name. It's uh, Hanukkah. It's written like the the holiday, but um, I was told it's spelled different. Uh, not spelled. It's pronounced differently. So I I don't know. I'm gonna need to find out. But look at that cover. Actually, I already uh, peeked inside, and um, based on the, it's short stories. And based on the stories inside, this cover actually really fits the mood well. Oh wait, I'll show you the, some of the inside. Okay. I'm gonna need to open it here. It's a, it's a big one. Oh wait. Just a moment, sorry. Alright. Oh, there's uh, the different art inside. It's actually apparently by uh, two well known. Uh, these two gentlemen are well known. Well, the, now, now I know about them. So, yeah, all sorts of stories. I'm sorry about that. Oops. Got a bit of a butt. So yeah, I was uh, I was uh, looking forward to start this at some point. So it looks like again these are uh, one shots or uh, not one shots, short stories. Oh, and the pages are numbered. I already approve. So yes, yeah, it made me remember. I know there's a movie, Streets of Rage. Hmm. Be interesting uh, after I read to see if the name fits it. Oh, that is actually really, really cool. And here's the back. Hey, it's got um, all sorts of uh, p people, uh, people's recommendations. Oh okay, yeah, this would be uh, this would be interesting. I got this from Comics and Vegetables, actually. I wanted to, uh... And I saw some uh, some Batman stories there, but I really wanted to get some Israeli comics and try some. So, here we are. Alright, folks, so uh, that is it. I'll let me know what you think about our, uh... Well, style of comics here, which I don't know really much about. But I'll make sure to educate myself in the future. Alright folks, so that is it. Bye.